Quispy. Welcome to one of the uh, most interesting or most boring positions you can attain while in the military. This is the CQ shift. Today we're going to walk you through what a 24-hour CQ shift is like. Starts at 09, ends at 09 of the following day. G is my runner today. We're going to show you what a CQ shift looks like, which we just Googled and stands for... Charge of quarters. That's right, charge of quarters. I already forgot what it stands for. So, this is 24 hours on CQ. So, ah, hey, this, this guy decides to inform me that the incline is now closed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even sorry, though that man. was going to be my daily challenge. Well, it's at least I told you. During the quarantine. So you were running with what? What are those? Those ankle weights. And why are you running with ankle weights? I don't know. They get faster. They kill the suck, I guess. So like when you take them off, you're just gonna be speed. Try yeah. Try to at least. Maybe, I am speed. Maybe. You're lightning queen. Speed. I am speed. Nah, I'm more like flash. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the ankle weights? Yeah, they're like four and a half pounds right now. Dang son. Each pound, each of them. Are you trying to grow them? My you're trying, you're trying to get no, you're trying to like grow your weight over time. Wait, right now I'm 215. Right, but are you trying to get more weight on your ankles over time? Are you gonna I guess, do I heavier mean, ones? I mean, yeah, probably put more weight on it in a little bit. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. Right. I struggled. I had to go from stop sign, run to the next stop sign, walk to the one stop sign to the next stop sign. You were doing fart click runs. Yeah, some were farther than others, and some were shorter than others. <laughs> so I made up for it, but I was sucking. Tell the uh, tell the folks how they can follow your your fitness journey. Just just do it. No, you gotta do it yourself. No, tell them what your YouTube channel is. Nah, Toaster Toaster has been down for like months now. Well, it's gotta come back up. I don't know when that's you gonna happen. Gotta get some followers. What's your what's your uh, Instagram handle? I don't have Instagram. What's your Facebook? It's just John Gordy. You have my Facebook. What's your uh, what's your YouTube channel? Gordster Toaster. Gordster Toaster. Yeah, right. man. Link in the description. Give him a follow. <laughs> Give him a like. Never. All right, so it's five o'clock. My runner just took off for supper. I'll be taking off shortly afterwards. Uh, we moved a bunch of washers and dryers. So in here, this is how soldiers can wash their clothes. Uh, so they don't have washers and dryers in their rooms. They have them in these common areas. So all of these. So we're turning them in tomorrow to get new ones, but they stink. You dirty liar! How bad does it smell? The yeah, sewage line broke and no one said anything. Exactly, it smells god awful. So tonight, that's what I'll be smelling. Great. Um, so CQ really only has a couple of responsibilities as long as things don't get crazy pretty easy job if things get crazy it gets real dumb real fast because you're kind of like the person on watch and on guard for the people inside the barracks so as long as people aren't being dumb being loud being drunk being disorderly then you're fine but if people are like that that's when things get stupid so I did some investing today I also Worked on my online training, got a lot of that done. This module is about keeping stress in check. This is the fifth time I've done this module. Explore the information about reduce Because it won't go to the next one. I just completed it. This should refresh. It should go to this next one here. And... Oh. Hallelujah. I can reduce my stress. And uh sorry to knock the workout out.
So, CQ shift. It's really about it. You're just kind of the person here in case something goes wrong. Um, every two hours we check the doors because they're supposed to be closed and soldiers like to leave rocks propped in the doors. You know, you're also the bad guy because you have to break up parties that soldiers want to throw in the day room and drink and play beer pong and play stupid loud music until like basically you, you tell them it's time to go to bed which was midnight tonight because uh, I'm a bad person who doesn't like to have any fun uh, and uh, we're about ready to hit the really interesting part of the evening which is three o'clock to five o'clock in the morning which is where you start hallucinating for some weird reason <laughs> And your body kind of like goes numb and you get really, really, really tired and like your blinks last like 14 seconds. So, we're about to hit that stage. Soldiers are still up for some weird reason. <laughs> it's like almost two o'clock in the morning. What are you still doing up? Go to bed. My legs are asleep. Your legs? Yes. Mm -hmm. If there's a zombie apocalypse right now, I'd be screwed. So, people have different tricks for staying awake. Um, I used to drink a lot of caffeine to try and stay awake, so I'd have like two or three energy drinks. But I would feel like absolute garbage when I got off duty. So this time around, I tried to eat some junk food, <laughs> some food that like, you know, would keep me interested in what was going on, um, to keep me awake. So, we'll see how I feel at nine o'clock. I'm gonna go do my checks right now on the doors. Uh, and then we have to clean the bathrooms and then should be it until morning time. I mean, it's morning right now. It's 3 o'clock. But, morning, morning. We'll be uh, coming up here in like four hours. It begins anew tonight. Oh. I'll tell the men to rest up. Two more hours. Two more hours. It is 8.30, we're 30 minutes away from me leaving, and sorry Todd had to bring up issues, he could have just waited 30 minutes, no, I needed you. You're my battle buddy. and then let the next shift take care of it. You're my battle buddy. Why are you needing Because that's your PHA. Oh. PHAs. Coronavirus, isolate yourself. You still got to go to the doctor's office and affect everyone. Let's go. The good thing is it's only our company. We have a missing soldier. What? What the fuck? And now we get to find him. Hands across those four cars. All right. Nine to nine shift complete. 24 hour CQ. So now I'm going to try to get a little bit of sleep. Um, you don't want to sleep the day away because then your sleep cycle at night gets all messed up. So what you want to do is you want to basically get as comfortable as you can, get some sleep about five, six hours or three to four, and then wake up, be up for a little while, and then go back to bed. So 
that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I have a tradition. I'm going to make myself some carb-heavy food, uh, stuff that makes me sleepy. And then I cut all my energy drinks off at around midnight or so. So that way, uh, by 9 o'clock, I'm pretty darn tired. You want to take in the water? I'm taking a nap. You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. That's why that 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock stretch is so rough. Um, they found the missing soldier. Uh, he just didn't have his phone on him because, you know, that's something that we do in the army. What? What the fuck? It's not. It's, it's not what we do in the army. Um, so I'm going to have some carb heavy food and then the uh, house is nice and cool. Thank you, Betsy. Uh, I'm going to put on a movie with a lot of dialogue and then I'm going to sit on that couch and I'm going to go to bed. Uh, that's CQ. That's how it goes. Have it about once a month. So, four principles, one goal. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, go to the best. Uh, hey, say it with the chest. Uh, hey, guys.